morning. Good Welcome morning. back to a new weekend vlog. We're in the car and we are heading into Basingstoke. We're going to start our video here. It's Friday. Aid's Friday off. Yep. And I've taken the day off too. Yeah. So we've got a lovely list for Primark. So we'll share a little bit if we can with you. They'll, they don't like filming in there. And um, we want to enjoy our time together as well. Mm. not very often I get excited about anything car related but I love the parking at Festival Place in Basingstoke. There's just so much space along here between cars it's so nice. We got here nice and early we haven't been here for so long it's so nice to be back oh it's the one-way system I just realized. I wonder if they're gonna still be in place though. We are heading straight for Starbucks last time we came here we were just so shocked at how much has closed it's just so much it's so sad to gap see closed. yeah gaps gone what was next to gap there's just loads and loads of empty bits i really like this shopping center always makes me feel like we're in the states yeah. oh. service is very 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 slow might be a while before we see our coffees hey we have coffee really cute little villages we're just waiting for a train to go by the um little post office has a coffee shop oh, yeah, that is really so cool. cute coffee shop yeah people are sat outside next to the church welcome to Saturday we had really really chilled out afternoon yesterday it was so nice and this morning I've just woken up with a really stiff neck it's a lot easier than it was I couldn't even get myself out of bed this morning Aid had to pull me up it was so sore my neck my shoulder my head but um hot showers hot hotties Aid's been rubbing me a little bit and I've been video editing all morning we're trying to get work on our um, Disneyland Paris videos Anyway, I want to show you what I bought yesterday. Clippy Clop Poppy, go and sit down. She always thinks she's missing out on something. Pops, bed, bed. Good girl, thank you. I won't show everything as there are some Christmas presents in here. I'm gonna start over here. I love 
this range. Um, Aid caught some video, which I popped on there. Isn't this cute? I was looking for a rucksack. The problem I have with rucksacks, as I know I've mentioned to you before, because I'm really, really small, everything, nothing fits me properly. And even regular size backpacks, they look stupid on me. I look like a ninja turtle. They're like, you know when you see a year seven, the first year of secondary school, starting school, and their backpacks are bigger than them. That's how I look with an adult size rucksack. I guess because I am that height, like a 10, 11 year old. They just look silly on me. And even like the straps, they are the, the width of a normal size rucksack. Um, the straps are wider than my shoulder, so they slip. So they're not only do they look silly, but they're really uncomfortable as well. So I've been wanting a rucksack. I'm not a big fan of the lounge fly bags. I love the design, but I want something where I can fit a poncho, a brolly, and like right now, the thought of going to Disneyland Paris. There may be a trip announcement coming soon on our Aiden Lisa Do Disney channel. Just saying. Um, I want my, my maybe a hoodie in the bag. So if it's warmer in the day and then you want something extra or a scarf, I want, a rucksack that's larger than a lounge fly and also potentially a little bit waterproof and I found this in Primark obviously um how much was it it is and made using recycled plastic as well which I love uh, 14 pounds look at that tag that's going to be appearing in my journals really cute really practical I love compartments in a bag so you've got the little bit there but this will fit like a poncho it will fit a raincoat your water bottle your phone my camera I tend to take quite a few bits on me look it's the little details as well can you see that little Mickey there it's so cute and on there but um I might spray it with some waterproof spray as well that will help and there's a little section inside um I tend not to take a purse out with me actually when I go to the parks my purse is quite big and bulky I just take a couple of cards credit cards and that so that will be ideal but it's quite a sturdy bag as well and it looked okay on me in the store it didn't look like it was a huge great big one and then i saw it in the little bag as well um this is going to be more of a florida bag i love an over the shoulder and obviously when i'm in florida i'm not taking a raincoat with me i just take up if it's going to rain that day i'll take a rolled up poncho but i've got them rolled really small the disney ponchos i wrap a couple of hair bands around and that is perfect. I wear, I've got like a three-way crossbody bag. It turns into a bum bag. I can wear it across my body and as a shoulder bag. And I love it. I think I've been using it now since 2014. Um, but this is just that little bit bigger. And it, again, it's got the two compartments. Same cute design with the little Mickey bits. And it's just a very practical size. It doesn't have a zip compartment in there, but then I would use that front one for that put my makeup in it and I just love the design very retro reminded me a little of gave me kind of like contemporary vibes love that bought some Christmas microfiber I couldn't find any Disney Christmas microfiber they did have quite a few bits of Disney stuff tights I love stocking up in Primark on tights I did however have you noticed that they've stopped their regular tights They've got now these ladder resistance. I don't like them as much. They, they're not as smooth. I don't like the texture and all, they do still ladder. And I find actually they hold a lot easier than the other ones, but there's no other choice. They're dirt cheap. And I wear a lot of skirts and dresses. I've also bought these thick ones. Weather sensor finish. Keep you warm when it's cool and cool when it's warm. I'm gonna give those a go. What else did we buy? Aid bought this t-shirt here. Nice to see a few men's bits. And that was eight pounds. I love that. I wish it was just that on the back. Not as keen on the back, but hey, we're not looking at the back, are we? Um, kids socks, always pick up kids socks. And makeup. My makeup has been discontinued. My, I use a foundation which has been discontinued thankfully before it was discontinued i bought it in bulk because it was on offer once and i've got two more tubes left of that so i know that's not going to last me forever and my beloved 
body shop one step face base I know I've spoken about this before I haven't been able to find a replacement so I've recently bought one that I've been using in Tesco's it's a Maybelline it's not my favorite but it's doing the trick I would still like to find something better I did buy the foundation from um, Primark yesterday I bought the mascara last year and I love it. It's three pounds, Wonder Lash, three pounds. I was previous to this buying the Better Than Sex mascara. I think it's 30 pounds. I've been buying that for years. This is just as good. In fact, it's less clumpy. So the three pound mascara wins. So, and I've been buying the blush. I was buying NARS blush before that was costing me three pa um, 30 pounds. And I think the Primark's costing me about two pounds, something like that. So I've replaced it with that. That's instantly nearly 60 quid I'm saving. Now I've tried the um, matte foundation, double coverage matte foundation, long wear matte finish, oil free, SPF 15. All the rest of my face facial products I buy from Kiehl's my face wash, my cleansers, my moisturizers, everything, um, my eye, my wrinkle stuff, everything's from that. So I do have a good, decent face base, if that makes sense. And my moisturizer is a factor of 30. So I thought I would try a cheap foundation. My other one isn't an expensive one anyway. It's only about an eight pounds or something, but this is five pounds. The only thing is, I wish it was a better way of getting out like a squeezy or something but it went on fine this morning and I would buy it again I've gone with the nugget nougat is that how it's pronounced number three what else did we buy um I think that's it that I can show the rest are all Christmas presents actually uh, oh and the other thing I bought I went into Wilco's last year when I placed a storage order on Wilco's I bought some um, just cheap, it's Extreme Shine Lippy Lip Gloss. It was £2 and I, I went for like a nude colour and I love it so much. It's been my favourite lip gloss I've ever bought and it's £2. So I went into Wilco yesterday, it's next door to Primark. They didn't have that shade but I picked up these two other ones. I'm not as fussed with this one. I tried this one this morning and it's too pale if I'm totally honest. I did however use it with um, a little bit of like ready color lipstick to kind of like smudge in a little bit and that worked fine um, but that's this one here what colors gold dust and this one is candy shop so they are the two I prefer the candy shop but the one that I've got originally the more kind of like nude color is my preferred color but for two pounds you can't complain and I've had it now for over a year, the one I've been using, and I use it every day pretty much, so I highly recommend those. But that was our little shop yesterday. I nearly bought a coat in Jack Wills and decided not to because it was, still was a bit tight. I've been wanting a coat to go with dresses that looks really cute. I have a coat that I bought in the States ages ago and I love it so much but I wear it too much and I don't want to start damaging it now and I want kind of like another coat maybe to go out with dresses and to start wearing one of my older coats when I go on dog walks but that's it that's our shop we had a lovely day out and we're just chilling today doing some work and I think we're finally going to watch Coco because we didn't get around to it the other day I forgot to add I did buy something else um towards one of my friend's gifts I do love all the toiletry bags the selection in there wasn't great yesterday also the clothing I wanted to buy a couple of hoodies and they didn't really have anything that I was looking for but they didn't have a massive choice I wonder if we're kind of in between seasons still at the moment but I bought some toiletry bags to go with a friend's gift and these were in total eight pounds so I thought they were a really nice little buy. I like this kind of thing when you're going away, you can separate bits and pieces, even if it's not toiletries. I, um, when we're in Florida, I have a little pouch that I keep in my bag when we go out that has like plasters, headache tablets, um, just all the little bits and pieces that you might need. I keep it all in a pouch inside my handbag. So then when I swap bags out, go into different parks or restaurants, all I do is just take that pouch from one bag to the other. So I don't have to keep moving bits or losing bits and it just makes life a lot easier. 
I love that we're talking park bags again. Isn't that exciting? I'm gonna make a really, really quick and easy cottage pie. I'm not even gonna peel the potatoes. I'm just giving them a quick wash and I'm gonna put the potatoes into boil. Obviously, the smaller you cut them up, the quicker they boil, but I'm just leaving on the jackets. Let them boil so they're nice and soft and ready to mash. And while I'm waiting for the potatoes to boil, I've just got in a pan a little bit of oil with chopped onion, carrots. I wish I had leeks. I'd like to add leeks, but I don't have leeks. I bought this bag of mints from Morrison's. It's frozen. It was three pounds for the bag, lean mints. And I love it because you can just add a little bit as and when you want it. You don't have to think about defrosting in advance. And I'm going to add some of this and some corn. So we've got a little bit of both. And the reason being because Aid likes beef and I like corn, so I'm doing both to please us both. And they can both just be cooked from frozen then, so it makes life a lot easier. I'm gonna let them cook down and then add some gravy granules and water. I'm just adding some pisto gravy granules with a bit of water. I'll add some French mustard, whoops, some red, um, what you call it? jelly, red currant jelly, and I need to add a little bit of wine as well. So I've got a handful of frozen peas and the secret ingredient is a good squirt of ketchup. I think that really adds to it, adds to the richness. I did do, add a drop of red wine, but um, the ketchup also adds a little bit of sweetness. Just waiting for the potatoes now. Right, the mash, I've just popped it here in my mixer with a bit of marge. Marge. Old base seasoning, which I love, and some salt. It's definitely a bit more of a rustic mash rather than like a smooth, creamy mash. But I made this to go on our fish pie this week, didn't I? Yes. Is it the same way you did it? Mm. Okay. It's really, really nice and flavour. I think with having the skins in there, because you didn't even know oh, that I'd left. The, oh, with the skins yeah, in, yeah, yeah. You yeah. didn't know I'd left the skins on, no, did no, you? No, really nice. It's not like there's any lumps or no, anything. You wouldn't but know. I think there's more flavour in there. Look at that little squirrel. So cute. Oh, yeah. And because we love cheese so much, I'm going to put some grated cheese in it and on the top. There we go, and I'm going to pop that in the oven until it's really bubbly. I think it's going to overflow, so I am going to pop it on a tray. There's our no faff cottage pie. I've done some broccoli to go with it, and it's nice and cheesy and crispy. And yes, it did come over the edge a little bit as you can see. It smells amazing, doesn't it? It smells so nice, I'm so looking forward to it. What are we watching? Um, Which fancy? Two choices, well it's your choice. Why my choice? Well, cause- um, I'm the fussy one. Yes, I watch anything. I watch 24. Um, we really, really got into- Downton Abbey. Finally. Yeah. After, we didn't think it was for us, did but we? But it was after a recommendation from Lee and Nick, so. Um, we're, how many episodes are we in? Three, I think. Is it three or four? But um, We're going fast for us as well, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, well, once you watch this, we watch the film as well, won't we? Because there's a film of it, I think. Yeah, well, so. we've got like ten, episodes, uh, ten series to watch, though. No, there isn't. There's five series, isn't there? Uh, I thought there was a lot I more. Th oh, unless there's only five. I think there's... Uh, well, anyway, it's for over five years. So I'd oh, imagine is it? Oh, okay. a year. Typically, right. that would be done. We're enjoying it, though. Yeah, really enjoying it. It's, uh, it's what I class as typical Sunday evening watching. I want to dish up, I'm hungry. Okay, go on, dish up. And anything that's a no-faff recipe in my book is a winner. I've had another hot shower. I'm trying to sort my shoulder out, it's still really sore. This is Eve, my one microwavable horse. Um, that kosh pie, Ada said it got to be one of the best kosh pies you've ever it's had. Very nice. Very it's nice. really good. The tomato ketchup in it really makes a difference. Um, we are going to work this evening. Aid's working on Christmas kit papers. I do a one-off kit every year just for Christmas. I don't do a Christmas themed kit in December because not everybody wants a Christmas themed kit. But I do a one-off kit that I sell at the start of November ready for you to get ready for December because you can turn it into like a Christmas um, mini book. This year it's going to be called Christmas Stories and it's dedicated to your Christmas stories that you can tell. And I'm working on some, I've had little mini envelopes made 
Um, Slater's made them before for me. Really, really cute little mini envelopes with little journaling cards. So I'm going to pop those together for the kits. And those Christmas kits will be going on sale at the start of November. Um, if you want chance to get in there early, because they tend to sell really, really fast, um, the Patreons get first dibs. And then those in the Lollipop chat group, the Lolly Chop, the Lolly Chop, the Lollipop chat group is a free group to join. So I will leave both links for you down below. And if you are in my top tier of Patreons, not only do you get access to everything in my Patreon group, you also get 10% off the kit and 10% off the online shop. And you also obviously get first chance to buy them as well. And we're gonna watch Scream 2. Just started packaging these up ready for the kits. I'm gonna finish this vlog now. It hasn't been a usual weekend vlog. It's been, it's felt a little bit different actually. And then I'm even finishing this a few days later. Um, we've just been really busy with work and it was really nice to have Friday off though. It made a really, really nice change. We did a live YouTube video on our Aidan Lisa Do Disney channel yesterday, which was so much fun. I think we'd like to do a few more of those. It's so nice chatting with people. And now we're getting to know people that visit the channel and you know a bit more about them. You don't just feel like it's nice people commenting. You actually feel like we're getting to know people, which I really like. So if you haven't subscribed to our Aidan Lisa Do Disney channel the link is below and we're sharing all our Disneyland Paris vlogs there at the moment and there will be a trip announcement coming there soon we've got something to share with you so I will announce that over there too just wanted to share I've just had a delivery of some new ears they are so comfy I found a seller on eBay they're all brand new individually wrapped they've got the tags on i think i've removed this one now but they still had the tags on and they start at just 12.99 and there's loads to choose from buy four ears get the fifth free i am super impressed and i've just stocked up for christmas presents so i will leave that link below for you it's nothing to do with me not affiliated in no way or form i just found them on ebay the other day and i'm super impressed and i just wanted to share because i'm so happy they might make you happy too. They make good Christmas presents. But thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you've been doing any Christmas shopping. We made a good start this weekend, so I'm really happy about that. So let us know how you're doing with yours. Have a great week, and we'll see you next weekend. Lots of love. Bye.